Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. I have here an article where um, it seems like they talk about President Joseph Biden not really trusting the Secret Service. So those uh, agents that are actually guarding and protecting him from uh, the public <laughs> of the harm that some people can cause to the present of of America. Now let's see if he's got an instinct, he knows things that we don't, or he's just paranoid. This article comes from Sputnik and it's from today, the 28th of December, 2022. Report, Biden does not trust Secret Service, believes they lied about the dog biting incident. A can they lie? According to the Secret Service website, the agency started protecting the President of the United States following the assassination of President William McKinley in 1901. U.S. President Joe Biden does not trust some of the Secret Service agents assigned by whom, right? <coughs> not by him, that's the whole point, to the White House, a new book by author Chris Whipple has alleged, and I'm quoting, the fight of his life inside Joe Biden's White House will be released on January 17, but media outlets have received advanced copies and the more salacious bits are being revealed, including those detailing Biden's trust issues with the Secret Service. In the book, Whipple writes that, and I'm quoting, the Secret Service is full of white ex-cops from the South who tend to deeply to be deeply conservative and that Biden believes some of them are MAGA sympathizers. So he believes. And uh, isn't that stereotyping? Isn't that because uh, they're white? That's one thing. I don't know why that's a problem. Second, uh, I don't know why is a problem if they're conservative. And then um, MAGA, MAGA sympathizer. I, I thought that you can have any political view that you want, uh, I thought. But anyway, maybe in a secret services you're not supposed to be human. But anyway, let's move on. <clears throat> Biden also believes the agency looks politicized and incompetent after it was revealed the agency deleted text messages from January 6, 2021, the day thousands of blah, blah, blah. Biden reportedly also has trouble believing some of the details surrounding the incident with Major, one of the two White House dogs. Uh, <coughs> those are uh, German Shepherd, I must tell you. So he's kind of racist having those uh, uh, German shepherd and I would, Shepherds, and I will tell you why. Probably you already know, right? Who used uh, the German Shepherds in Congo? Huh? <laughs> was that the Belgian police, the military police, and who used the um, German shepherds here in the south during the, um, how do you call that, uh, yeah, the, that, th that movement, right? Anyway, while, while according to Whipple, Biden does not, Biden does not doubt Major beat an agent, he told a friend that Secret Service officials are never on the second floor of the White House where the incident is said to have taken place. Somebody was lying, I'm quoting, I'm quoting right now. Biden thought about the way the incident has gone down Whipple Road. Well, uh, I would be concerned not about the dog, the German Shepherd, biting a Secret Service agent and uh, you know, whatever happened, happened. Let's say if uh, the dog bit the Secret Service agent, all right, it happens. It's a protective dog, right? So what, that's one thing. The other one, uh, if those guys lie, <clears throat> that's a different story. Which, uh, if I were Biden, I would be more concerned f um, about my life. And i tell you why. The Secret Service are not your friends. They are an agency controlled by people that you really have no control over. You think you have control over, but you don't have control over. I'm going to tell you why. Let's say uh, the Secret Service agents, they receive an order right, through their earpieces or however they receive a, 
an order. And the order is eliminate uh, subject, I don't know, B. And do you think that the Secret Service will ask, wait a minute, why do you mean eliminate subject B or something? Do you think they will ask their superiors, can you give me more details? How did you get information? Why should I do this? I mean, are you sure? Or they will just do it. Well, their job is just to do it. Why? Because they're over there to execute orders. They're not over there to investigate the orders. So I tell you as direct experience, uh, and probably uh, some of you also know, when you receive an order, you execute it. You don't stay, you don't stay and think, well, I might not like th this order. I don't think I'm going to uh, fulfill it or, you know, uh, complete it. And I think I'm going to ask my superiors to provide me evidence why I should complete the order. And you say, hey, Gigi, you told me to do this. Why is that? Can I see the report that determined that I should do that? Because I really have a few questions. You don't, you don't do that. You just do it because that is your job. Your job is very clear. You follow orders. You protect that individual and you follow orders. Now, the orders could be like this. Uh, subject uh, B has been compromised, needs to be uh, temporarily removed from the position and location, physical location, and brought to location uh, Z, located in bab -bab -bab -bab, within 35 se uh, um, seconds, minutes. All right? And you do it. Or it doesn't have to give you a deadline like uh, as soon as possible and that's it. You act now. And the, the Secret Service will just go and arrest, get with other Secret Services that they will have other, uh, because it's not going to be only one doing it, it's going to be the whole group. And they will um, conduct this uh, mission of uh, taking this guy or maybe, you know, it's not only that. So you, you can't control, and I'm not saying this is a, in, uh, a unit that doesn't answer to, to others. Let, let's say they're just going to get... Uh, uh, the subject from his, I don't know what kind of room, put him in a car, drive him out of the, uh, how do you call it, um, White House and taking him to location, whatever, Z, without anybody else asking any questions. It doesn't work that way. I mean, pre I'm pretty sure that um, different services and different uh, people who are checking on each other. So the secret services probably are checked by other people, but they have access to the president. And uh, a lot of things can happen. So I'm exaggerating here, obviously. But what I'm trying to convey here is that the Secret Service could be your best friend or best friend, or it could be the uh, worst enemy because it's in your in your proximity, and you don't give them orders. They receive orders from far away, and you cannot control them. You think you are, but you're not. So. I hope uh, that uh, he doesn't trust the Secret Service because they lied about the freaking dog. Uh, I don't think that's important. The other thing with being white and uh, maybe conservative and uh, this and that, I think that is really bad. Bad uh, that the president thinks that way. Uh, for his own protection, maybe he should. But what do you want? If the Republicans have this and the other ones don't have it, they're afraid of guns, what do you expect, right? So, um, I'm just kidding, obviously not, but um, <laughs> this is the situation he is in. What is he going to do? Uh, hire blue people, people or something? Uh, it's just, uh, well, and on the other hand, this is probably, uh, you know, um, you did this and this is the consequence. And you don't expect everybody to love you, do you? <laughs> I guess he does. Anyway. Thank you very much for being with me again today. The Secret Service is not really uh, your friend over there. It's whomever's friend. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just.